I've made $15,000 in TikTok affiliate commissions over the past few weeks. My mind is blown. I never saw this coming. And I thought this is exactly what my audience needs to hear about, okay? For those of you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Lori Ballin. I'm a digital marketer. I've been teaching search engine optimization and content marketing strategy, strategies for years. Lots of Facebook and things like that. Google, blogging. But what happened is one day I... I don't know why. I, I got on TikTok about a year ago and I felt it was a, it, I was too old for the platform, but I wanted to play with it and just see what it did. I like to just play with things and, and see where they go. It's a, it's a creative outlet. And I got these new kittens I adopted. And I, so I started making videos with the kittens in it and I'd get a couple hundred views here or there. And I got some followers and I got up to about a thousand followers not a whole lot of interaction. It was really quite boring. I, I didn't love the response and I didn't even know what I was going after. So it was just kind of like, let me just put up some Christmas kitty videos or whatever. And then I thought, you know, my whole uh, niche is make money online and teach people how to make money online, how to do content marketing. So let me make some videos that talk about affiliate marketing, that talk about making money with YouTube, those types of things. I made them... I put them on TikTok. They didn't go anywhere. They did worse than the kitten videos. And then I just kind of dropped TikTok. I put it to the side and I said, this is not for me. It's not a platform. I don't want to sit around and play with filters and be silly and do all these trends. I just want to teach people how to do things online. So I, I put it to the side. Well, then this year I, I started dating and I don't remember why I did this, but maybe I just needed an outlet. I had been single for six years. It was the first time I was dating. And I one day I just went online, I went on to TikTok and I talked about dating. And in this little batch of videos that I made about dating, one of them went viral and got a million views. It was about older men dating younger women. Got a million views, all kinds of interaction. It took off and so did several of the ones around it. A few hundred thousand views, a hundred thousand views, 700,000 views. And I thought, this is interesting. So I did some more of it and sure enough, every video I made about dating or, or divorce relationships, they were taking off, they were getting views but I would put up another cat video and it wouldn't go anywhere. I would put up another making money video and it wouldn't go anywhere. And speaking of my cat, she's chewing on the tripod right now. So hopefully it will stay up. <laughs> and so what I realized is that just like Google, just like Instagram, just like Facebook, just like YouTube, TikTok has an algorithm. And once it determines what you're about, what, and, and it does this based on the engagement on the videos you're making and which ones are getting the interactions that TikTok wants to see. Those are the videos that it's going to push out to on the For You pages to people that would be interested in your videos. It doesn't mean we can't make other videos, but it means whatever is working, we need to follow those breadcrumbs. It's the same with Google. If I write a blog and that blog goes high up on the search engines, I need to do more of that content. And I'll fight it. I'll push back on it sometimes. Like, ah, that's not really what I want to write things on. But that's what Google wants me to be about, right? So if we do more of, <laughs> if we do more of that cat, then we're going to get better response. So let me talk about the money. So I'm, I'm making these dating videos and I go from 1,000 subscribers to 10, uh, fo sorry, followers on TikTok to 10,000 followers on TikTok in a matter of weeks. And at this simultaneously, because I went from zero to 10,000, pretty much, I qualified for two programs at the same time. One of them was the creator beta program, which is where you get financial rewards for videos you create that are one minute or longer that get certain types of interaction, right? So if you're if if I'm part of this program and I get approved and I make a one minute video that has 1,000 or more views and isn't against any of their other terms, weird terms or whatever, then I get paid based on views, interactions, likes, comments, shares, whatever, right? 
So, and right now it's averaging like a buck 17 for every thousand views. That's the RPM. And so I'm getting about, right now I'm at $600 for the month. Remember, I just started doing this, okay? I was all excited about this 600. I was excited when it was 100, then 200, then 300, then 400, 500, then 600, all in the same month. You know, it was just going up so quickly. But then, wait. <laughs> then TikTok sent me an invite to be part of their TikTok shop creator, their names are so confusing, program, which is basically an affiliate program for TikTok shops. Now, I had never even heard of TikTok shops. I didn't know what, they, what it was, but I certainly know what affiliate marketing means because I make six figures in affiliate marketing every year. So every month I make five figures in affiliate income through software. So I teach people how to use search engine optimization software, YouTube software, AI tools, whatever it is. And when they subscribe to that software, I get a commission every month. It doesn't cost that person anything extra. And I disclose it in all my, where it's supposed to be. But that's how I, I make good money doing that. So I understood affiliate marketing when they said it. But I, I, I was like, oh boy, okay, I, what is this? We're, so I went over and looked at TikTok shop and it's a bunch of young girls, mostly showing clothes, or things around the house or purses or, or you know, cleaning supplies, different things like that. And I, I thought, oh, I don't really know if I wanna mess with that. But then I started thinking about it. I'm like, wait a minute, there's actually some things on those TikTok shops I would buy. Uh, a floor length mirror that's a, a jewelry cabinet and makeup mirror was something I had seen. And I thought, if I actually join the program and I buy that product, and I make a video of that product, then I can write it off through my business, right? Because I do have a business, a marketing business. So I thought, well, let me just do this. So I bought the mirror and I took my phone and I walked into where the mirror was. I put the mirror together myself, it didn't take that long. And I grabbed, I, I was in a sloppy clothes, my hair was in a bun, I was not trying hard, I was not thinking I was even gonna be on the camera, I wasn't thinking mirror, duh, of course I'm gonna be on there if I walk in front of the mirror. But I wasn't thinking that way, so I went in there with my leggings and my t-shirt and I showed everybody the mirror. And at one point I kind of showed the mirror and just kind of turned to the side a little bit and then I opened the mirror and I showed everybody the mirror and it was purely, very, very authentic. This is why I like it, this is why I bought it, I bought it for me. That darn thing just took off. At that same time, I also wanted jeans. And there, there was a pair of jeans, uh, a, a maker of these jeans that I really liked because they're stretchy jeans. Anyway, long story short, they looked like they would be good for my body type. So I also bought several pairs of these jeans. So between me modeling those jeans and demonstrating that mirror, all of a sudden I woke up and I had hundreds of dollars in my account. And I, I didn't even know it was really happening because I don't get like notifications like you got a sale, you got a sale like I do with a lot of my software. So I was like, what is happening here? So at first I was just talking about these jeans and I was telling everybody about how these jeans were taking off and I'm selling five pair in a day and 10 pair in a day and I'm making 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks on a pair of jeans and I got the jeans as a write-off. So I'm super excited. But then all of a sudden this mirror just skyrocketed. 100,000 views, 200,000, 300, 400, a million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, this mirror goes viral. And before I know it, I've made about $15,000 in commissions over the holiday, Black, you know, but leading up into Black Friday and now leading up into Christmas. And it's absolutely insane. Now I'm also doing makeup palettes. You know, not even, I haven't even started putting the makeup on camera, just kind of showing them the palettes. And right now my palettes, uh, they were at, at, at averaging seven a day. It looks like today it's gonna be higher, but I was averaging seven a day. I make about six bucks per palette. That's $42 a day and 42 times, let's just say 40 times seven is 280. So that's about $300 a week. That's about $1,200 a month just from one two minute video holding up makeup palettes. And I'm a 50 year old woman on a young people's platform. And the most interesting thing to me, now let me, let me talk about why this worked. I, got a few, I have a few scenarios here. One, my timing was impeccable. 
I, you, you can't beat that. My timing was impeccable. I, I, I caught the holiday season. But there are a lot of products on there that are going to be popular for certain seasons. Like just now I've started ordering uh, exercise equipment and meal prep food dishes and mixers and bowls that I can do sugar free and diet dishes in for the first, you know, for, for the first quarter. So I'm thinking health and fitness and home for first quarter is like what's on my mind, right? Well, you're going to have seasons where the weather warms up and you're going to have pool things and spring things and outdoors and lawn mowers and whatever else. There's all kinds of things on there. And then there's tech that's all year long. But yeah, no doubt I did. My timing was impeccable, but my jeans and makeup were taking off before we had hit the holiday gift season. So it was already for some reason working, right? And that was that I, I found that very fascinating. I think the combination of the fact that I did videos that people really like to comment on, they love to comment on those dating videos. They love to debate. They love to pick on me. They love to pick on each other. There's all this interaction that happens. That's what built up my follower count really quickly. And I think that ha that was a, a, a big help with how fast that grew. And then I think I must have a knack for picking trending products for picking products, which makes perfect sense because I'm an analytical girl that lives in analytics all day long. I can spot things pretty quickly. So I do think I had an, a little bit of an advantage. And honestly, I was buying things that I wanted. So if I want them as a 50 year old woman, then I have to assume there's a bunch of other 50 year old women on TikTok, 40, 40 plus that want the same things. Like for example, this top came from TikTok shops. I absolutely love it. And I did a demo of it today. And I, I think there is something to the fact that I am catering to my own niche, my own age group, my own demographic, and it's working very well because it's authentic, it's not salesy. You know, I'm, I'm buying things that I actually want and I'm, I'm, I'm showing those in a demo. But it's interesting to me that I could sit here and bang my head against a wall all day long writing blogs and, and, and spend hours in AI and technology and writing long form content you know, to, to make a thousand dollars. I'm not knocking blogging because I've been a blogger for since, since AOL said, you've got mail and that's not going to stop. But my goodness, my eyes have been opened. I, I, I just am blown away and it makes me wonder what else is out there on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on, on all these different platforms. What about drop shipping? What about print on demand? What about Etsy? What about creating all these planners, all these things that all these people keep talking about and I keep ignoring. And then I just happen to go dabble in one of them, not even trying to make money. And it, and it takes off and makes me more money than I possibly could have imagined with no personal cost out of pocket. The products I bought were either free samples from the shops that they sent me, or I wrote them off through my business. And all I'm using is my cell phone and a tripod. I mean, it, 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 it's insane. It's absolutely insane. So my advice to anybody who wants to get started on this is to start by building your follower account. Now I'm in the U S so rules will be different in other countries. The programs will be different. How many followers you need will be different. How they pay out will be different. So you need to check TikTok for your country. In the U S it's 5,000 followers to get in the one program is 10,000 to get in the other. So your first goal is to go get followers. How do you do that? You make videos people care about. Talk about things people want to weigh in on, okay? Parenting, relationships, aging, being a man, being a woman, uh, world events, TV shows, sports, cooking, anything that people are gonna weigh in on. Now, what I do is when I make my videos, I ask for advice. That's one way I get people to weigh in. I'll say, you know, hey guys, I want your advice on something. And they'll tell me, they'll give me all their advice. Well, all that advice boosts my video up over and over and over again, all that interaction. A lot of times they end up chatting with each other too, which boosts that. And I don't really care what the advice is. I, I care that they're giving it, you know, and it's valuable because they're giving it and all the people get to interact. And then I'll go on and look at all the comments and I'll respond to one of those comments on video, tagging the person. And then that brings it all back up and brings that algorithm back up. So the first step is get to five to 10,000 follow followers in the US by creating content people want to have an opinion on, people want to weigh in on. I say go with the spaghetti theory. You know, what throws throw spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. Whatever it is that's happening in your life, talk about it. That's the way I feel. 
because for you, maybe you have dogs and your dog thing is going to take off. Or maybe you are, you have an interesting business. You're going to talk about work. Or maybe you're funny and you want to tell jokes. Or maybe you love to rant about everything that's wrong in the world. And people are going to come along and rant with you. Whatever it is, you've got stories to tell, tell your stories, you know. And there is no such thing as too old for this. I'm watching 60, 70, 80 year olds making money on TikTok. Some of them are modeling clothes, some of them are telling stories, some of them are being cratchety old ladies and being funny, some of them are just doing memes, there's all kinds of things that you can do, okay? So, so no limiting beliefs. I will put a link in here based on all of my followers, and I was sharing this on Facebook, they asked me to do a live stream the other day, I did a live stream, and I built a, a course along with it. I said, you know what, if I'm gonna do this live stream, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on purpose and I'm gonna build a course because I build courses, that's what I do. So I'll put a link, you can check that out below. I hope this video is helpful. Go out there and play around and see what you can do.